What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. This channel will mainly be vlog style, focused around rock climbing, probably in the gym. Also, I'll include some tips on health and different workouts. I've just started rock climbing about a month ago, and currently I climb about five nine routes, one top rope, and I would like to make a crazy one year goal. So in a year, I would like to go from a five nine climber to a five twelve b climber. This channel will take you through my journey where I will provide you my plan, which I will use to achieve this goal and any tips that I learn along the way. A little bit of background about myself. I am 23 years old and a recent graduate from University of Maryland, currently working in the bioinformatics field. I started getting into bodybuilding type workouts when I was a senior in high school, where I bulked from 140 to about 180 in around a year which I don't recommend because I gained a bunch of fat and then when I cut, I basically lost all the muscle because it was my first time. <laughs> anyway, after some lean box and cuts, I'm currently about 159 pounds, but I wanna switch my goals to rock climbing because I find it very fun physically, technically, and mentally. So if any of this sounds interesting to you, please like and subscribe and check out some of this footage. What's up friends, I wanted to take this time to give you a little more detail on why I'm doing this. So for starters, I went to rock climbing with some friends and I had so much fun. I found a deal at a local gym where if I take a free class and pay for an upgrade, I get 15 days of climbing with gear included. My girlfriend and I purchased the upgrade and we climbed 6 times out of those 15 days and went to a bunch of yoga classes. During those 15 days, I started watching YouTube videos on how to get better. I came across a video of someone trying to go from a 5'9 climber to a 5'13 climber in a year, and I thought this was perfect for me. I will try and link the channel below because I actually did enjoy the beginning videos, but the guy who started the series got injured and stopped making the vlogs on his progress. This is when I had the thought that I should be doing this. So I'm jumping headfirst into this, and I will not quit. Also, I think this is a great way for me to track my progress. The other reason I wanted to do this is because, if you couldn't tell, I am quite reserved and I don't think I'm very creative. So I'm actually terrified to speak in front of a camera and I think by forcing myself to do something I'm afraid of, it will generate a lot of growth in my life. So, I apologize if the videos aren't very entertaining or are cringy at times, but as I learn how to film, edit, and become more comfortable with being in front of the camera, they will get better. I'm going to try to put out two to three videos a week. Please feel free to give me any feedback in the comments, and if you want to see something specific, feel free to mention that as well. Alright, now I'm going to go over some tips that I'm practicing during climbing. We started on a 5-7 route to warm up. Usually I get bad bicep tendonitis, so I usually warm up with a 10 pound dumbbell and do like 50 bicep curls just to pump blood to that area. But for this day we were short on time, so we started climbing some easier routes instead. So in the videos, you can probably tell that my technique is terrible. <laughs> um, but for the most part, I am just trying to move my feet a lot and stay close to the wall. This will keep the center of gravity more on your feet and you will use less of your arm strength. I also tend to pull myself up a lot with my arms, so I've been practicing to really push with my feet. This will conserve a lot of strength and delay fatigue. Finally, you can see in the last clip, if you stick around, on the pink overhang route, I am focusing on hanging from my arms. This allows me to place my feet higher where I can then push myself up with my feet instead of pulling with my arms. And I, on that pink route, I've actually been trying to do that route for about a week and a half. So I was very happy that I actually finished it. Well, that's all I have for you for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. Please like and subscribe if you want to follow me on this journey from a 5'9 climber to a 5'12b climber in a year, and I will see you in the next one.